In 2007, I stumbled upon the book The Secret when I was living in London and it changed the way I look at life forever. Well, the theories in The Secret is simple. You get what you think. At least that was what I comprehended at that time. So I started to think positively as much as I can. And it did work magic for my career because the next thing I know, I was hopping on the plane to China to launch my career with Alibaba, one of the most powerful company in the world today. But on the other hand, my relationship was just not working out well. No matter how much I was manifesting on an everlasting love, it just didn't work out. So what's wrong with the picture here? How did the law of attraction work for one and not for the other? So two years ago, I was traveling in Tibet for vacation. And while we were visiting some of the ancient temple, the tour guide was demonstrating to us how we should be praying to the Buddha. So she asked us to put our palms together, place it on our forehead, our lips, and then our heart before we do a sincere bow. And she started to explain that that is actually the symbolism of aligning what you think, what you speak with your intention. And as those words came out of her mouth, it was like an epiphany for me because that was the answer I have been seeking all these while. And not too long ago, I stumbled on a speech given by Mr. Greg Braden. So he was sharing some of the secret verses in the Bible. And one of them is Gospel of Thomas, verse 106. Jesus said, when the two become one, you become the sons of men. And you said, mountain move, and the mountain will move. Well, the two was actually referring to our thoughts and our emotions. Well, I was totally blown away how the law of attractions has long been discovered in the ancient history, but sadly forgotten in the modern age. And it's such a simple law of aligning our thoughts, emotions with our intentions, yet it is so difficult to achieve, especially nowadays where we are often so distracted and stressful all the time. So do you want to find out what is the missing piece in that dream that you're still chasing but is yet not happening? Or do you want to find out why it is so difficult to align your thoughts, your emotions with your intention and how you can actually change this behavior? Well, make the last few weeks of 2019 a meaningful one. Come join me in my workshop, Create the Life You Love, as I will be sharing with you what I have learned and discovered.